Assalamu alaikum, peace be, peace be with you. This is Karashid Indasan. I am a Muslim apologist uh, and the founder of Asian Muslim Apologetics. Welcome to Kape Talakayan. Uh, this is answering James White pertaining to last year debate, if I'm not mistaken. It was last year, a debate between Dr. James White and June uh, Bintilacion of Iglesia Ni Cristo. The topic is about Trinity. And this is just my reaction. Well, first of all, I would like, to, it's indeed, uh, it's really a very professional uh, debate. How I wish I was there uh, as an apologist, a Muslim apologist, who also engaged uh, myself in a uh, uh, number of debates with uh, Christians and other uh, sect or denominations and other group, including atheists and agnostic. Anyway, uh, my reaction is, number one, I a little bit dismayed, disappointed with the presentation of uh, June Ventilation, although I acknowledge him as uh, a very professional and in Tagalog, magaling. Meaning, uh, I really admire, I admire him. How I wish uh, I will have, I will be given an opportunity to have a debate with the number one contender. Okay? Meaning, Pambato uh, in Tagalog, uh, the champion of Iglesia Ni Cristo, Mr. June Pintelacion. It's an honor, a privilege, if he will debate me because I used to debate uh, his opponent of Seventh-day Adventist, whom also he debated, uh, a friend of mine, a Seventh-day Adventist, uh, about the divinity of Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm a little bit dismayed disappointed with Dr. James White considering he is considered as a Christian uh, scholar or a Greek scholar, a Bible scholar, although conservative, because the way what he tried to insinuate in that debate, by the way, I'm just a conversant in English and not really that fluent, but however, I believe I can express uh, as able as I can uh, my thoughts in English language. Dr. James White is trying to insinuate that this was, that there is Trinity. Trinity is true. There is Trinity, and he used at least three verses where he pounded or we he bombarded uh, June ventilation in cross examination. Uh, I'm pertaining number one to uh, one verse in the Bible. He used John chapter 17, verse 5. According to James White, to say that, because in verse 3, Jesus said, according to the Bible, this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God. Monon, Alitinon, Teon. If I'm not mistaken, I have no, I don't have no, I don't have any notes here. The only true God, ka isa isang Dios na tunay in Tagalog. And Jun Bintalasyon has his point that the only true God in that verse clearly stated that it was the Father. Is the it is the Father? who is the only true God. Jesus is telling us that the only true God is the Father. And not Jesus Christ. But according to James White, the only true God composed of three persons. And he used the following verse, John chapter uh, 17, verse 5, to prove that this is Jesus, Jesus is also God. And therefore, Trinity is what? Uh, there is Trinity in the Bible. May I quote it? Uh, allow me to quote John chapter 17, verse 5, the verse which 
being used by Dr. James White. And then here, James, uh, John, John chapter 17, verse 3. This is eternal life. When Jesus lifted his eyes into heaven, he said, this is eternal life. That they may know you, the only true God. The only true God. Huh? The, that they may know you, the only true God. And the electric panel. This is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. And Dr. James White is trying to uh, insinuate that I am, I said, I am a sola scriptura, and I believe that the, the, the verse should not be caught out of context. I believe in every verse according to him. So, Yes, he believed that this that the Father is the only true God, but you have to consider also the following verse so that you will understand the Trinity. And he used the uh, verse 5 of chapter 17 uh, of, of John. Now, Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the word was. So according to James White, indeed, the one true God are three persons, composed of three persons. This verse, clearly, we can see the truth of the Trinity doctrine. I, I really, how come you can say that, Dr. James? So I couldn't see. You are, you are bluffing. I don't want to use bluffing. You are, you are either you're bluffing people or just trying to to uh, fool us because we know the, 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 we, we understand what the verses is saying us saying to us the only true God according to Jesus Christ according to the Bible is only one and that exclude himself. He is not part of that the one true God. And how come you use verse 5 to prove the Trinity and to prove that Jesus Christ is God? Because you are trying to insinuate unto us that Jesus is indeed should also be known as the one true God. Because he said in verse 5, Now, Father, glorify me as the glory which I received from you before the foundation of the world. So, he is he pre-existed. So, if, he, uh, if Jesus has pre-existence, therefore, he is also God, equal with God, or equal with the Father. How could you say that, Mr. James White? I really, I'm dismayed by your presentation, considering that you are a Bible scholar. Because, you know, you know, my, my style, in, in, whenever I, I uh, talk to a Christian like you, I, I use it, we call it, I call it in, in our local uh, uh, talk, boomerang technique. You know, the boomerang, where I use your own argument. Are you trying to insinuate, Mr. Uh, Dr. James White, that Jesus is God, that Trinity is truth, simply because he said, according to John chapter 17, verse 5, now glorify me as the glory which I received from you before the foundation of the world. Meaning, you are trying to insinuate that since Jesus is as uh, glorified by God, then he is God. And that glory is about the divine uh, glory. Because you uh, cross-examine Jum Bintelation, asking Jum Bintelation what kind of glory which Jesus received from God. And you're trying to emphasize that that glory is a divine glory which Jesus received from God. Therefore, he is God. And the glory which Jesus received from God was before the foundation of the world, meaning you're trying to insinuate Jesus has pre-existence. He existed already. Therefore, he is God. How, how could you use that argument, Mr. James White? Now, if I'm going to use your own argument, huh, I would say you will end up in a dilemma. In a dilemma, Mr. Dr. James White. Why? Because 
If you insist that Jesus has pre-existence, or number one, uh, let's tackle it one, one by one. If you are trying to insist that Jesus is God because he has uh, he was glorified by God. He received glory from God. Therefore, he is God. Then, uh, will you also willing to accept that there are also, also other people who receive glory other than Jesus Christ? And if you still insist that that glory is about the divine glory, which make him God, then number one, he only received that glory. Therefore, there was a time that he has no glory. He was not yet glorified by God. Therefore, he is not God then. He was not God then. Have you realized that, Dr. James White? In Tagalog, kung totoo na si Jesus ay tumanggap ng kaluwalhatian at ang kaluwalhatian kanyang tinanggap ay kaluwalhatian ng pagkajos. Therefore, hindi siya Diyos before. If the glory which Jesus received from, the, from God was a divine glory which made Him God, then what comes to our mind? He was not God before. He just received the divine glory that being God from God. So he was not God before. He became God when he received that divine glory. Have you realized that kind of argument, Mr. Dr. James White? Number two, what did Jesus done about this glory which he received from God? May I also quote you the same verse in James, uh, in John chapter 17, verse uh, 20, uh, 21 and 22. Okay? Listen. John chapter 17, verse 21 and 22. That they may all be one. is pertaining, pertaining to the, the apostles. That they may all be one. Even as you, Father, are in me, and I in you. That they also may be in us. So that the world may believe that you, have, you sent me. Not Trinity, Dr. James White. Not as God equal with God. That the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory, listen to this, Dr. James White. The glory which you have, you have given me, I have given to them that they may be one just as we are one. You see, the glory which you have given me, what kind of glory? According to James, James, Dr. James White, that the glory which Jesus received from God was a divine glory which made him God. So if he became God because of that glory, then he was not God before. But, but what happened to that glory? Jesus, according to this verse, the glory which you have given me, if it is divine, if it, if it was divine, the divine glory which made me God, huh? the divine glory, the divinity that you have given unto me, I you have given, I have given to them. So, are you are, 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 are you willing to accept, Doctor James White, that the apostles can also be considered as God equal with God, because Jesus received glory from God, and the glory which received, which was received by Jesus Christ, He even he given, he gave it to the apostles. So there is the glory that he received, he gave to the apostles. According to John chapter uh, 17, verse 20, 22. The glory which you have given me, I have given to them. So the divine glory that being God, the godliness which made me God, I give also to them, to the apostles. So, you will. That is a dilemma in your in your part, Mister Doctor James White. If the glory 
which was received by Jesus Christ was a divine glory. So, number one, he was not God before. He was became, he just, he just became God when he received glory from God. Okay? Number one dilemma. Number two, if the glory which Jesus received from God was a divine glory which made him God, then he gave that divine glory to the apostles. So are you telling, will you, will you, are you going, uh, are you, uh, are you going to accept also that the apostles elected by Jesus Christ can also be considered as equal to God, equal with God, or also God, which Trinity will no longer compose of three persons, but many persons, including apostles. So you see, a very, very, very weak argument, Dr. James White. I, I, I was dismayed in your presentation, considering that you are a Greek scholar, a Christian scholar. You are lucky I am not there in America, you are not here in the Philippines. Okay. So, and then, Jesus is God. James, Dr. James Watt is trying to insinuate. Because he received glory before the foundation of the world. Therefore, Jesus has pre-existence. He is not simply a human being. He is also God because he pre-exists. Jesus has pre-existence because he said that I received glory before the foundation of the world. How about if I will be able to read to you biblically, Dr. James White, that other than, other, Jesus, other than Jesus Christ, there are also people who receive glory from God. And there are also people before the foundation of the world was being selected, elected by God. Are you also willing to accept that they are also God? Because they also receive glorification of glory from God. And also they, uh, they, they receive the, the favor of, from God before the foundation of the world. Are you, maybe you're not familiar with this verse. Or I know you are familiar with this verse and yet you're just hiding it. Because you know you have a preconceived idea, a very bias, even though you're a scholar. But you, 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 it, 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 would be, it is very hard for you to accept the truth. That you know deep inside. Because you are a scholar. And if you are a scholar, you should consider this matter. But uh, it seems that you are trying to hide something and then you just want to, uh, to show your bias doctrine or preconceived ideas in regards to the belief of Trinity. May I read to you one verse in Romans chapter 8 verse 29. Uh, I know uh, the John Bintelation was about to read this verse but he was uh, stopped by the halt by the time. Okay, unfortunate, unfortunate for him but you know I am dismayed by John Bintelation. Maybe he forgot some... Uh, effective argument that should be uh, raised by him during that debate. Now, may I read to you Romans chapter 8, verse 29, according to Paul, listen to this, Dr. James White. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined. It's about God. For those people whom he foreknew, foreknew by God, he also predestined to become conformed to the image of his son, so that he would be the firstborn among many brethren. And these, verse 30, and these whom he predestined, the people who are predestined according to Paul, he also called, he people, ordinary people, he uh, and uh, <clears throat> he, those whom he predestined, he also called. And he, these 
whom he called, he also justified. And this whom he justified, he also glorified. You see, these are ordinary people, Dr. James White. Also, they also received glorification. They were glorified by God. Uh, is it? Are you also willing to accept that these people are also God simply because they accept glorification or glory from God? And when that glory, that glory, according to the Bible, even by Paul himself, although I, I believe in uh, presentations in the book of John er, uh, Bart Ehrman and other uh, an, 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 an non-conservative scholar that Ephesians is not really a pseudo Paul, not, re not really written by Paul. But according to this verse, uh, see, they are also people who receive glory from God. And, and I know you will never accept them, consider them as God simply because they uh, receive glory from God. And when, when, uh, when these people accept, or when these people receive glory from God, listen to this, in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4, according to Paul, verse 3 and 4, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ, just he, just as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world. According to Paul, God chose Him and those who believe, a believers, those who believe, companions of Paul or the Christians, some Christians during Paul's time, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we would be holy and blameless blameless before him so there are also people including paul and so and other believers that choose chosen by god when since when before the very foundation of the world they were chosen by God and they were justified by God and they received glory from God. So this these are there are people who receive glory, there are people who chosen before the very foundation of the world, which will end up which will uh, end you, Mr. Dr. James White, in a dilemma. If why did you use John chapter 17, verse 5 to prove the Trinity doctrine? And to prove that Jesus is God. A very, very weak argument, Dr. James. Why? Because you will end up in a very, very big dilemma. Because if you are trying to insinuate just by using John chapter 17 verse 5 that God is, Jesus is God because he received glory from God. Then, you should also consider that they are ordinary people who are also gods, equal with God, because they have also received glory, glorified by God Himself, according to Paul, Romans chapter 8, verse 30. And if you are trying to use, if you are want to prove, if you want to prove that Jesus is God by using John chapter 17, verse 5 again, that Jesus is God because he received glory from God before the foundation of the world, meaning you're trying to insinuate that Jesus has pre-existed. He already existed before the foundation of the world, so therefore he is God. Then you will end up in a dilemma because according to Paul again, in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 and 4, Paul himself and other few believers was already chosen chosen to be blameless before God. They were chosen before the very foundation of the world, which will make him God if you are going to accept your own argument, Dr. James White. Huh? You see? 
you, you, perhaps this is the first time that you you've been uh, uh, answered by a Muslim apologist, or even even uh, by non is, you, you have never, in my opinion, never been uh, uh, examined the way Kara should examine you, Doctor James White. You see, I use two verses. Romans chapter 8, verse 20, verse 30, and Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 and 4 against James White because he used John chapter 17, verse 5 to prove Trinity. There's no Trinity in John chapter 17, verse 5. John chapter 17, verse 5, uh, Jesus never said that he is God. And again, if you said that Jesus is God because Jesus received the glory from God, and that glory is a, was a divine glory which made him God. Again, it's a dilemma. It is a dilemma, Dr. James White. Because, number one, he was not God before. He became God when he received glory. And the, the dilemma is that glory, if it was divine glory, Dr. James White, he gave it to the apostles according to John chapter 17 verse 21. So again, these are my uh, argument. Dr. James White, answering James White by Karashid Indasan, uh, Imam of Masjid al a local, a local mosque here in Quezon City, Metro Manila. And uh, next time, may perhaps tomorrow inshallah, I'm going to refute your argument which being raised during cross examination with uh, in the debate uh, with Jun Bintalashon, your debate between you and uh, Jun Bintalashon of Iglesia Ni Cristo uh, regarding pertaining to John chapter 8, verse 24, when you try to insinuate, when you try to emphasize that Jesus said, Unless you believe that I am, ego, me, you will die for your sins, in your sins. And then you use that verse to prove Trinity again and to prove that Jesus is equal with God. I'm going to repute that, inshallah, next time. This is Kala Shidin Nasan, Kapeta Lakayan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.